Hello. This is a little animation I've created. And this is the sort of cartoon that you can make yourself. This here, this Bugs Bunny, he is created with a set of basically images that you string together and you create the movement. And you can use that in any sort of background you want. And here he is on Mars, just walking along. And if we take him to the moon, let's see. These backgrounds I've actually created in Bryce, but you can use whatever software you want to create your backgrounds. But what I want to do is I want to talk today about actually creating this movement here, this image. Uh, let's just look at the last one. Here I've reversed him and I'm just he's minimizing down to the rocket. So I'm going to show you how to create the sprite images or the sprite sheet which you can use to create this movement. And I've looked for sort of free software and I've actually been able to find about four. And a couple I haven't actually looked at yet. Sprite creation software. But there's one that I particularly have used. I've spent a couple of hours just looking at it and I think it's really useful. So the first one that I've downloaded, I know absolutely nothing about, is Spriter. You just Google this and you should be able to see it. But you can certainly download the software. How you get started there, I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't found out. Um, if somebody knows, it'd be great if you can tell us. What else have we got? We've also got Graphics Gale, free edition, which you can download. You go into that. Um, again, I don't know how to use that. Click on a paint mode. Try painting, nothing. So that's not so intuitive as I thought it might be. The third one I want to, want to show you is, again, this is free, free download. It's Tile Studios. And if we go to File, New, and I just pick anywhere, colour in here, and I can start painting. Let's just click it back so you can see it. Back. You can actually start creating your sprites. Over here, you can see the sprites that you're creating. Um, I believe you're probably creating tiles. So if we uh, add a new tile, let's do a green one. Just draw anything on there. Let's put a bit of black. So here we start to see what we create. We'll do one more. Add a new tile. Let's do red. And and down here you, you can see you can see the sort of sprite sheet you're starting to create. If you look down here on the left. Um, if you animate it, can we animate it? Let's just try animation. You can probably click that. So that's that would just show you if, you, if you're changing your sprites, that would just show you what your animation would look like. So that's one of the software. And the only other one I want to talk about is ASE or ASE Sprite. <coughs> ASE PRIT A Sprite, I suppose. So we'll click on this. Now I find this one, it's a little bit blocky in the what you're seeing up here, but I find it quite useful. We'll create a, a sprite with a transparent background, so we'll click OK. Um, so we can promptly start drawing our sprite. Uh, here you've got your options, you've got pencil tool, you've got spray tool. So let's spray. Um, uh, let's pick a colour, we'll just change it. Now rather than a tile, what we're going to do is we're going to have a frame. So we're going to click on a new frame. So a new frame. So we look at the frame properties of this one. Oh, we're on fr in three now, so we've, we've actually created three frames at this point. So let's just put some yellow in there. And let's go frame a new frame. Um, look at this one, we should be on frame four, I believe. 
yeah so here we're on frame four let's do something so let's just do that let's go frame five let's put some black can we put some black on there let's um pencil tool okay we do have a, a razor tool and we've got a paint bucket tool as well we've got you've got various tools you can use a blur tool and this one here that basically changes the size of what we want to draw with so do that but uh, play with that and you should you should find that useful so if we go into the frames um, let's play the animation so that's the sort of animation we're setting up by creating the sprites. I'll just press escape. <clears throat> In fact, I believe if we go, where is it? I think we can go to animation editor. Yeah, there we go. There's, a, there's the sprites in the animation editor that we've set up. So again, I'll press escape. Now, like me, you might not be very good at, at drawing new sprites, so you might want to cheat a little bit. So let's try and cheat. I'll show you how I cheat. So I'm going to go new. I'll go transparent, okay. So I've set myself up a new one. Now if you do a Google search on the internet, you should find that there are sprite sheets. And basically what you can do is find one that you're allowed to use and just import a sprite sheet. So if you select the file, I've got one. Let's try this one. This one will do. <clears throat> now this little square here is what you're going to import. So you need to get that square over the sprite you want. So if I drag that down to there, and if I drag the top, it gets a bit confusing this. Drag the top to there. And that I should take over to there. When I import it, I should be importing this what's in this square here rather than all this. So we'll import that. Now, there we go. We have a sprite we can play with. So what we'll do is let's um, have a new frame. Um, let's ooh, let's just change the size of that. Let's just make it a bit smaller. That'll do. So let's just put some red here. I'm going to take the rubber and I'm just going to erase that part there. <coughs> And if I go that, if I just go to the next frame, new frame, it's basically going to use what I've got and add more to it. So let's just reduce that again. If I do it, now I want to colour on the rubber here. So let's just let's just take the pencil. That's it. Ooh, that wasn't great. Let's go up to the next frame. I could tidy that up if I wanted. Let's go up to a new frame. Let's go up to a new frame. Frame, new frame. So let's suppose an Elmer Fudd's come along with his double barrel shotgun. And he shot the ear off through old Bugs Bunny. So if we look at that, play on the animation. So, so what we're doing is we're actually creating the sprite sheet for that. And if we go to the view, we go to the animation editor, there you'll see all the sprites we're creating. These we can just clear if we don't want them. Let's clear that one. Clear that one. Press escape. Play the animation. There we go. 
Now what we have to do is we have to basically file and export the sprite sheet and we can save it as a horizontal strip if we want and we'll export that and we'll call it let's call it um, test.png and come out of there and basically if we go and look at that we'll actually see we'll actually see the, uh, the strip of information that we've created so uh, what I've created is in so there's the test so here's the sprites that we've created <coughs> now having created the sprite sheet you might be saying well what do I do with that well, it's not a problem. All you need to do is you just need to go to my channel and if you look at this one here, how to create a cartoon, creating the moving images, it shows you how to actually take that sprite sheet that you've created and then create the moving images from that. Um, there's obviously about five tutorials I've set up there. If you look at those, you should... <coughs> If you look at those, let's have a look. You should see all these other um, animation tutorials I've set up. There's the first one, how to create a cartoon. So that was basically how to create a free sprite sheet. Um, so do, to, do take a look at some of these other videos I've created. And with that, you should have the complete knowledge of creating an animated cartoon. So good luck with that, and thank you for watching.